Wild animals behind every stump in these woods. Cats! Bear! Bear? That? As much as your cock's a tent pole. Hi, you blind fool. Save me! Tell me, are bears often boar-shaped in your experience? Got weak eyes, see? Besides, I'm a fire-eater, not some damn naturalist. Indeed you are not, Master. Uh, believe I failed to ask. What do they call you? David Altersborough. Listen here, Master Hattonsborough. Stay close, and no harm will come to you. I'll see to it your drunken, fire-spitting gob gets to the wedding safe and sound. The missing fire blower is missing no more. It was my doing, if I may say so myself. And Demon? What's with him? He failed to return. No, he did. He's just acting mighty strange. Seems to be in a muddle of sorts. Got as much life in him as a carrot. Might have eaten some nightshade or whatnot. Your attention, please! I invite all to witness the spectacle unrivaled. A man so bold as to eat fire! We must watch the trickery. Never saw anything like it while alive. <laughs> a contract. Done. Fire Eater found, his ass saved. If I could live again, I'd be a witcher for damn certain. Look, 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 look. Munchkin's playing cards. Perhaps you care to sit down to some Gwent with us? Most certainly would. You needn't ask twice, midget. No need for insults. I'm sorry. I meant no offense. Were that true, you wouldn't have called him a midget. I've apologized. What else would you have me do? Bring him flowers? I'd have you play and stop talking. Let us play, gentlefolk. What's your wager? Everything. The whole lot. I'm all in. I never knew you to be such a gambler. You shall see many new sides of me this night, my dear. Many large sides. Normally we play that the losers got to wear the ass ears. I needn't care. I shan't lose.
hand over the wager. Everything. Um, perhaps we could reach an arrangement? Oh, weaseling out of this. Hand over the coin! What do we do now? Feel good, losing somebody else's coin? I meant to win, give you the coin! I've no need for it in the grave. But you lost, so now I've got to pay up. I say, he talking to himself. Roaring drunk already, that's it. We can't fleece a drunk. Have him don the cap and we'll call it even. Just a minute. Bloke needs a lesson. I say he dons the cap and gives us 5% of the coin he has. Hear that? <sighs> Agreed. 5% is yours, and I shall wear the cap. Never fear. A man must do what a man must do. And Vladimir von Everex, a man among men. Hear that? So sloshed he thinks he's Vladimir von Everex. Rogue's long dead, by my reckoning. Exactly. <laughs> Those ears. You look, uh, interesting. Time to drink! We are at a wedding. Aye, let's drink. My time's as short as you are, friends. To the Witcher and his betrothed. Hear that, Shani? My betrothed. Know what that means? No. What? It means we should act as befits the betrothed. And what's that mean? I woo you, you resist. But it all ends as everyone knows it must. Ah, the merriment. Good show indeed. Let's continue the ball. Ah, my kind of tune. Let's do some dancing. <laughs> In my experience, witches and dancing don't exactly mix. Today they mix like fire and oil, my love. We'll dance the barn down. <laughs> faster, faster, <laughs> till we expire. <laughs> special treat for our special guests, the Witcher Geralt and his enchanting partner, Shani. Musicians, something lovely for the loving couple. At last, music for our loving embrace. Come, Shani, it's time you discovered my romantic side. A chair could dance a jig with you as its partner. Oh, how humble you are. I strive to be, yet should the need arise, I can strut as proud as any peacock. Oh, the perfect combination. Women must love you. Well, not to brag, but... Call it idle curiosity, but how many have you had? Many, and not a scrub hag among them, I should add. Women with true class, all, though none to match your charms. Seems the music in the evening draw to a close. Know how a true dancer thanks his lovely partner? I'm not sure I do. What are you doing? Have you lost your mind? 
I have my mind, my heart for you. We must agree. You can say whatever you please, but you shall keep your hands to yourself. Understood? Don't be upset, my peach. I couldn't resist. I'm not upset. Just... Next time, don't lunge at me like that. I'd had a long fast, so to speak. Hunger overwhelmed me. But yes, next time, I shall ask. Shani, may I kiss you? <laughs> You're incorrigible. Could I talk to Geralt for a moment? What for? He'll have nothing of interest to say. The man's a drip. Please. <sighs> Very well. See how I've reeled her in? Now don't fuck this up. Geralt, I'm curious what it's like when that ghost's inside you. Do you feel anything? Have any control? I feel everything. Don't have any control over what I do or say, though. Why do you ask? Because I wonder what it would have been like to dance with you. Just you. Probably I'd have done what he did. Still like to. Then why don't you? Well, answer me! Thing is, normal folk don't act like Vladimir von Everick. Because they are churls. <laughs> don't be too hard on him. All in all, he's actually rather fun. Ha! See that? I'm fun. And you've got a pike so far up your ass, you can't wear hats. Happen to see the man who announced our... your song? Yes, he acted as though he knew me, but we've never met. I was surprised. Who is he? Gontor Odin, Master Mirror. Wonder what he's doing here. Then perhaps you should just ask him. Yeah, he didn't show up without a reason. Need to talk to him. Consider that he might have simply been nearby and dropped it on a whim. Promise you this much, he never does anything simply. And certainly not on a whim. Bah, I was to make merry, carouse. Yet here I've stood the last five minutes, listening to you talk. I'm going back in. Ah, better. Come, Shani. The night beckons us not to jabber it away. The night is young. Come, let's do something wild. What's taking you so long? Bring me my shoe! Quick now! Seen what he pulled from the water? An old pot? Mayhaps his lass wears pots for shoes, in case she can't find a privy. You were supposed to fish out my slipper. Am I to dance now with one foot bed? Tis a wedding. I've got to wear slippers. Oh, look, dearie. I did. Take there. Muck must have sucked it deep in. We'll poke your paws in there. Rut for it. Rubbish game. What's all this, then? <gasps> They're playing slip in for a slipper. Never heard of it? Never. Us gentry folk have other diversions. What's the object? Maid tosses a shoe in the water. A man's got to dive in and fish it out. Look, mutations don't just turn them barren as a mule. They give them an ass's ears to boot. <laughs> Must have some other horse part hidden in his trousers. And once I retrieve it? Well, your maid'll be pleased as punch. Or it means you're a gallant bow. And awful handy. Is that all? No prize? Not even a kiss? That depends on the miss in question. If she wants to give you a kiss, she will. But she ain't obliged. Oh my. Oh, there's more to come.
prime game. Shani, your slipper. I shall prove I dive to any depth for you. Observe, Shani. My eyes are glued. Seems to think the slipper will be easy, don't it? Your talk's a big talk. Let's see how big is Strogan. That one's a witch. Mucky that pond, sank in up to my armpits. Mucky as it might be, the lake still couldn't keep my shoe from you. See, my blueberry? Such devotion in a small matter. Now imagine my devotion in matters large. Hmm, something specific in mind? Why, naturally. Ride off with me, Shani. To Kovir, Povis, Zeracania even. With a maid like you at my side, I could conquer the world. <laughs> Lovely plans, but I fear they're impossible to realize in just one evening. Too true, but it's nice to dream. Oh well, recognize this, Cinderella. My shoe? Mm-hmm. Now extend your supple leg and let me slide it in. That is, on. Uh, thank you. Nothing like a good swim. Now we must do something else. Some found yourself a perch from which to survey passing bows. What do you mean? My back aches from pounding the churn. So I'm out in a... And they said fire burns hotter in an old stove. What sport is this? Blustering about after pigs, are you? Lads are racing to be crowned king of the swineherds and win the prize that comes with it for their wench. Um, lady, meaning. And the rules? One must be a swineherd's son to enter, I suppose? Nay, any man can try his luck. All you need is to herd the piggies dabbed in yellow into the pen. King of the swineherds, eh? What's this king get exactly? The king's ransom, I would hope. No coin. Honor's the prize. King gets a crown of laurels he pins to his saddle, rides about with pride that he's king of the swineherds. You mentioned some trifles for the lasses. Are they worthwhile at least? For certain! Lovely, every last one. Pretty as a painting. Win and see for yourself. Sounds like damned foolish nonsense. But why not give it a try? We'd be honored. A witcher with ass ears chasing swine. <laughs> Better than a goddamn circus. What's that you say, peasant? I mean, uh, nothing. Good. Keep it that way. Get that cripple out of there! <laughs> Could chase his own wench into a bed, let alone a pig into a pen. Let the witcher give it a run. Shame there's no painter here. It's a moment worth immortalizing for posterity. Watch my movement, Shani. I'm spry as a cat and sly as a fox. I'll show these imbeciles how one chases a porker. Come on, piggy. 
Got a nice and cozy pen for you. You see that, Shawnee? One big pen. Foolish peasants, learned a lesson from your better? Are the pigs penned? Indeed they are. Whoa, Master Witcher. What were the trickery back there, the fancy finger twisted? I know. Seen that afore. Witcher told a lad to go hang himself, drew some flowers in the air with his hand, and the man lost his mind. Meaning you cheated, and shan't be crowned king of the swineherds. Shani, what is it Geralt says in these situations? Damn it. <laughs> yes, that's it. Damn it. Now for what I say. Go shove rakes up your asses, you peasant curs. Do I look anything like a swineherd? Come, Shani. I've had enough of these hay seeds. Forgive me, Shani. I've let you down. Uh, are you worried about that pig? Oh, you needn't be. We're here as a couple. I wanted to win you that... that thing. Oh, really? It's unimportant. Nothing at all. Hmm. Tell me, Shani. What's the key with you? What do you mean? I'm on the prowl. That's clear. In Geralt's name and flesh, of course. But still... Yet the more I woo you, the less you seem ready to succumb. So I ask myself, what am I missing? Mm, perhaps you're just not my type? Considered that? Rubbish. I'm every lass's type. Is that so? Prove it. With pleasure. Show me a lass, and I'll have her eating out of my hand in the blink of an eye. Uh, that one, with the garland. Splendid choice. Now observe as Vladimir von Everek does his thing. Now, who have we here? Do I know you? That's the crux of it. We've not met. I've had to endure half a lifetime without you. An entire lifetime, more like. A moment, my dear. Do not sabotage me, Shani. That would not be fair. <laughs> fine, fine. I'll stay out of your way. Did it hurt terribly, my sweet? What? When you fell from the heavens. <laughs> Why, Sarah? <laughs> Shh, my dear. No more words. I shall make a true lady of you. Arm in arm, we'll grace the finest salons. Salons? But really? Actual salons? In Novigrad? And how... <laughs> in Novigrad? Oxenfurt? Why, in Kovir as well? Wherever you wish. Let's make haste to the barn. There, everything will be made clear. Leski, step away from the man. Who the devils are you? We're the Mrs. Brothers, and we swore to our down his dying day we'd keep those of your ilk far from her. Easy, lads. No harm done. An innocent conversation with an innocent miss. The kind weddings are for. We all heard your innocent talk. Wanted to draw her to the barn. What were you going to do there? Talk some more? Naturally. We would speak. But first, we would dance. Now tell me, 
What sort of fool wouldn't want to dance with a beauty like her? Find another beauty, or I'll dance with you myself. Just after I grab me a fence post. Geralt. You saw it. I tried to resolve this peacefully, but they wish to fight. Suits me just fine. Sounds like wonderful fun. Fence boards right over there for the taking. Fear eat your stones. That's the last plowing straw. No one accuses Vladimir von Everick of cowardice. Calm down, boys. Don't want to fight you. Too damn bad, because we're going to tan your mutant freak hide. That does it! <laughs> Show us what you got. Hot damn, boy. You needn't ask me twice. Fence boards, the perfect weapon for sweaty ass swineherds. Perfect fit for your gob, you plowing gentle fuck. Never in my life have I reveled so fiercely. Step up, who else wants a shave? Damned cretin creamed me. Embarrassing to take a licking from a boar. And with a mean watch. Had enough peasant spawn. Thought yourself a match for a Von Ever. I mean, a witcher. Away with you, be gone. I've tired of looking at your slack jaw yaps. Where to, my love? I was to turn you into a lady. Don't. You must explain I was not at fault. They lunged at me. Well, go on, chase her. In your dreams. There it is. You fucked up. She's gone. Is that how you woo the ladies? You always that charming in life? It worked. More often than not. Listen, tongue and fists on a leash from now on. Have your fun, but don't beat the wedding guests. With my hands. Fine. I shall try. Uh-oh. Shani approaches. I'm likely to be happy, eh? You made this mess. You do the explaining. Oh. All right. Your methods, quite unusual, to woo a woman by beating up her brothers. Creative. Wonder what else you have up your sleeve. My dear girl, what don't I have up my sleeve? I'd gladly demonstrate. Perhaps behind the barn? Uh, I think you've demonstrated enough. Let's just enjoy ourselves, all right? You don't have all that much time left. Your wish is my command, milady. I'd never deny a maid so fair-featured. Off we go.